Good evening, it's me, Kristen Nicole Smith, and tonight I'm going to be talking about what we do in the United States, and even in Europe, and I think in China, and in Japan, but predominantly in the United States, at Christmas time. Christmas is supposed to be Jesus' birthday. The day Jesus was born. That's the day we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior of the world. So what do we do? Um, we put our pretty colorful lights, um, tree branches in the house and outside of the house, and trees in the house, real trees and fake trees with all kinds of decorations like tinsel, snowflakes, uh, crystals, uh, bulbs, uh, icicles, glass, plastic, satin, silk, all type of stuff on our Christmas trees and put gifts under them for our family and friends. Some people even give people they don't know. Some people who might not get a gift, get a gift from somebody they don't know and never met and maybe never will meet. But some people do it out of the kindness of their heart. So what do we do in this house? Oh, we have a blast. Um, I started getting ready for Christmas months and months ahead of Christmas time because I want my daughter and my family to have a lot of stuff on Christmas like money and gifts and candy and cookies and cake dinner on Christmas Day um so this year I'm starting this month this is July 2021 I'm starting this month shopping on my family's gifts and putting money aside so they have their stuff at Christmas time some people believe that Santa gives them their gifts, and I believe Santa gives them their gifts too. Then some people believe that their mom and dad give them their gifts, and some people believe that they give each other gifts. I think it all connects with each other, and it all makes for a great holiday season. Either way you do it, you're celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. You're doing it in the holiday spirit of giving and loving and cherishing someone that you know, love, or you may not know and you love them anyway because that's what Jesus does. So I get prepared months ahead of time and I wrap the gifts. I try to hide them from my daughter, but she opens them. For the last three or four years, she's been opening them before Christmas and it really... Um, it's not fun and it really is not very spectacular for her to do that, but she just can't wait to open her gifts. So when they come to the door, I have them delivered here. When they come to the door, she says, can I open them? And I just can't tell her no. So I let her open them and they come for months and months and months and months. And every time they come, she says, can I open them? And I say, yes. This year, I'm going to go to the stores myself and get the gifts while she's either at school or away somewhere and she cannot open her gifts. I'm going to wrap them in private and I'm going to hide them in this house somewhere she can't go. That way, she will have a spectacular, surprising, great Christmas along with her Christmas dinner and drinks. And my whole family would get something from me. Some of my family are Jehovah Witnesses. So they don't celebrate Christmas. Some people are not, some people in my family are non-religious, so they don't participate. But the ones who do, I'll get them something. And the ones who kind of do, I'll get them something. <laughs> so I think that that will make them happy, even though they say they don't want to. 
So what do we have for dinner at Christmas time? On Christmas Day. My brother does cooking. He is almost a gourmet chef. So he cooks turkeys and roasts and sweet potatoes, homemade rolls, um, ham sometimes, charred greens, macaroni and cheese, sweet potato bread, cakes. And we have a blast eating, watching Christmas movies, and enjoying each other. I was going to cook this year for Christmas, but my brother said he wanted to cook. So I said, you can cook. I pay for the meal, he cooks it. He goes to the store and shop for what he wants to get. What he wants to serve for the menu, but I give him the money. Um... Um, kids are off for school during the holiday time, the Christmas time, here in the United States. So they're off for like a week or two before Christmas and even up until New Year's and New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. And they go to school after all that's over. So have plenty of time to spend with your family. You don't have to worry about studying. You don't have to worry about parents have to help the kids with homework. And you can relax for some weeks. It's like a little vacation at home. Some people go out of town for Christmas. Some people go out of the country for Christmas. And come back when it's time for them to go back to work or go back to the children's school or whatever. So we really have an excellent time and put on a show at Christmas time here. Yep, here in the city, um, there are all types of spectaculars at Christmas time. Plenty of Santa Claus in full attire, letting little kids sit on their lap and tell them what the what he wants, what they want for Christmas. Giving them cookies and giving them milk, giving them a list and a blessing, hoping they'll get what they want for Christmas. Taking pictures in their best outfits. Um, what is that place called? Uh, there are places in the city that have tree lightings. Huge, feet and feet tall trees with lights and all kinds of decorations. Decorated by the city or decorated by citizens. Bought by citizens, bought by the city, and just to be looked at and admired. Um, people put lights on their houses, Santa Claus in the front of their house, and it's normally snow here at Christmas time, so it's, it's a winter wonderland and it's cold here in Detroit at Christmas time. So, yeah, we really have a blast. And if you don't have a lot of money, there are free gifts here in Detroit. And there is assistance to help you out with your kids getting Christmas gifts. And there is assistance with Christmas dinner. And people giving away turkeys and things like that. If you have access to a stove and oven. So, yep, that's what we do. I hope you try to celebrate with us this year and have a great time celebrating the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.